Um, the states are responsible for that more direct delivery of services, but obviously they look to the Commonwealth's taxing powers to provide a lot of the funds, not all, but a lot. Um, in the 2014-15 budget, the $44 million capital program for new homeless and domestic violence shelters were, was cut. Um, it hasn't been reinstated in the 15-16 budget that, that I'm aware of. Um, what was the basis for cutting that funding? Um, who made that decision and on, on what grounds was it made? So in the context of the 14-15 um, agreement, Senator, uh, it was determined that the agreement would focus on service delivery. Without any... OK, that, that's the practical impact, I guess. Um, doesn't go to what was your understanding of who made that decision and on what grounds was it made to, to not provide for any further expansion of, of shelters for people fleeing domestic violence or finding themselves homeless? That was a government decision in the uh, previous budget, Senator. It was, and presumably a government decision to not reinstate that funding. I might properly direct this question to you, Senator, for your well, Vancey Wells, uh, if that's I appropriate. Think, I think, Senator Ludlam, remember that um, uh, when we came into government, we actually, there had been made, there were, had been no provisions made, uh, funding had been cut, uh, and we extended these agreements for two years. Yep. If my, um, and so, one, year one year in the first instance, and, and then, then thank you, um, Mr. Pratt, uh, one year in the first instance, and, and then uh, again. So, uh, it's, can I just make very, very clear that we um, have a given priority um, to frontline services and the need for frontline services to continue. And given what we inherited, um, we have made sure that frontline services were continued, and that was the decision that we made as a government. Senator, we won't know whether a Labor government would have continued to fund the capital projects, the new I shelters. Think we do know. But we uh, don't Senator because they didn't Lola, deliver the budget they, you did. They made no provisions in the forward estimates for funding. But that that's reasonably common. We won't I don't think it's fair to say that it didn't exist well, because well, they Senator didn't Lola, they weren't given the opportunity when I read to hand forward a budget estimates, down. Uh, I read into forward estimates the intention of a government to do or not do something. And we inherited a situation where the funding um, had been uh, had, was going to cease. So to me, Couple that years. indicated a clear intention by the previous government not to pursue funding in this right. space. And we came into government and we chose, and we chose uh, to ensure that frontline services were continued. Okay. And that was the decision that we made. I'm getting time so, checked by the chair. So I'll, I'll move well, us I'm, I'm from... I'm just making the point, yep. Senator Ludlam, because your assertions were incorrect and let's, I'm correcting your th assertions. Thank you. I think, I think that's point, points well made. Indeed. Indeed. Let's, let's move towards this government rather than rehashing the previous government. I'm actually much more interested in what happens next. So, sorry, Senator, could I also just point out Thanks. that um, under the National Affordable Housing Agreement, there is also a two, $260 million um, element that is homelessness as well, and that does that is um, available for capital use as well. Okay. So the the, uh, the partnership, um, the homelessness partnership agreement, yes, is one important contribution the Commonwealth makes, but the um, funding under NAHA is also, you know, it's also relevant here. Okay.